Hello guys, and welcome to my channel. Due to YouTube copyright infringement, we only use one picture with voiceover. Thank you for understanding. If you love history and biographies, please leave a like and a sub. Let's start the video. Rachel Carson, born May 27, 1907, Springdale, Pennsylvania, U.S., died April 14, 1964, Silver Spring, Maryland was an American biologist well-known for her writings on environmental pollution and the natural history of the sea. Carson early developed a deep interest in the natural world. She entered Pennsylvania College for Women with the intention of becoming a writer, but soon changed her major field of study from English to biology. After taking a bachelor's degree in 1929, she did graduate work at Johns Hopkins University, M.A., 1932, and in 1931 joined the faculty of the University of Maryland, where she taught for five years. From 1929 to 1936 she also taught in the Johns Hopkins Summer School, and pursued postgraduate studies at the Marine Biological Laboratory in Woods Hole, Massachusetts. In 1936 Carson took a position as aquatic biologist with the U.S. Bureau of Fisheries, from 1940 the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, where she remained until 1952, the last three years as editor-in-chief of the service's publications. An article in the Atlantic Monthly in 1937 served as the basis for her first book, Under the Sea Wind, published in 1941. It was widely praised, as were all her books for its remarkable combination of scientific accuracy and thoroughness with an elegant and lyrical prose style. The Sea Around Us, 1951, became a national bestseller, won a National Book Award, and was eventually translated into 30 languages. Her third book, The Edge of the Sea, was published in 1955. Carson's prophetic Silent Spring, 1962, was first serialized in The New Yorker and then became a bestseller, creating worldwide awareness of the dangers of environmental pollution. The outlook of the environmental movement of the 1960s and early 70s was generally pessimistic, reflecting a pervasive sense of civilization malaise and a conviction that Earth's long-term prospects were bleak. Silent Spring suggested that the planetary ecosystem was reaching the limits of what it could sustain. Carson stood behind her warnings of the consequences of indiscriminate pesticide use despite the threat of lawsuits from the chemical industry, and accusations that she engaged in emotionalism and gross distortion. Some critics even claimed that she was a communist. Carson died before she could see any substantive results from her work on this issue but she left behind some of the most influential environmental writing ever published. 